Killing a person ain't no big deal. Just put the gun to their head. You, you killed him? But, but, but it wasn't my fault. He, he made me do it. Calm down, Eddie. Tell me what happened. That guy, he, he had it coming. I didn't do anything. He just came after me. Besides, he was making fun of me with his eyes, like that other one. Just for that, you killed him? What do you mean, just for that? Eddie, you can't just kill someone because of the way they looked at you. Oh, yeah? Why not? Till now, I always let people walk over over me just like that stupid dog he had it coming too Eddie. <laughs> I was just joking James he was dead when I got here honest anyway I gotta run you're going out there alone? Yeah. Eddie!
You're alive! Maria, I thought that thing killed you. Are you hurt bad? Not at all, silly. Maria? That thing, it stabbed you. There was blood everywhere. Stabbed me? What do you mean? It chased us to the elevator, and, James, and then... James, what are you talking about? Just before. Don't you remember? James Hunt, did something happen to you? After we got separated in that long hallway? Are you confusing me with someone else? <laughs> you were always so forgetful. Remember the time in the hotel? Maria? You said you took everything. But you forgot that video we made. I wonder if it's still there. How do you know about that? Aren't you Maria? I'm not your Mary. So, you're Maria? I am. If you want me to be. All I want from you is an answer. It doesn't matter who I am. I'm here for you, James. See? I'm real. Don't you want to touch me? I don't know. Come and get me. I can't do anything through these bars. Okay. Stay right there. I'll be there soon. Okay.
Angela, relax. Don't order me around! I'm not trying to order you. So what do you want then? Oh, I see. You're trying to be nice to me, right? I know what you're up to. It's always the same. You're only after one thing. No, that's not true at all. You don't have to lie. Go ahead and say it. Or you could just force me. Beat me up like he always did. You only care about yourself anyway. You disgusting pig. Angela. Don't touch me! You make me sick! You said your wife Mary was dead, right? Yes. She was ill. Liar! I know about you. You didn't want her around anymore. You probably found someone else. <sighs> That's ridiculous. I never... Maria? Maria, no! What happened to you? Why? Why?
city? What are you doing? What does it look like? He always busted my balls. You fat, disgusting piece of shit. You make me sick. Fat ass, you're nothing but a waste of skin. You're so ugly, even your mama don't love you. Well, maybe he was right. Maybe I am nothing but a fat, disgusting piece of shit. But you know what? It doesn't matter if you're smart, dumb, ugly, pretty. It's all the same once you're dead. And the corpse can't laugh. From now on, if anyone makes fun of me, I'll kill him. Just like that. Eddie, have you gone nuts? I knew it. You too. You're just like him, James. Hey, I didn't mean anything. Don't bother. I understand. You've been laughing at me all along, haven't you? Ever since we first met. I'll kill you, James! to you, James, when you're hated, picked on, spit on, just because of the way you look, after you've been laughed at your whole friggin' life. That's why I ran away after I killed the dog. Ran away like a scared little girl. Yeah, I killed that dog. It was fun. It tried to chew its own guts up. Finally died all curled up in a ball. Then he came after me. I shot him too, right in the leg. He cried more than the dog. <laughs> He's gonna have a hard time playing football on what's left of that knee. You think it's okay to kill people? You need help, Eddie. Get all holy on me, James! This town called you too! You and me are the same! We're not like other people! Don't you know that? Let's party! Eddie? Eddie? I... I killed a... a human being. A human being. Mary. Did you really die three years ago?
Did I scare you? Yeah, you did. You're here to find Mary, aren't you, James? Well, have you? No. Is that why you're here, too? She's here, isn't she? If you know where she is, tell me. I'm tired of walking. I wish I knew. But she said it in her letter. What letter? Rachel, okay? Who's Rachel? She was our nurse. I took it from her locker. Laura, how old are you? Last week. So, Mary couldn't have died three years ago. Could, could she really be here? Is this the quiet, beautiful place she was talking about? Me and Mary talked a lot about Silent Hill. She even showed me all her pictures. She really wanted to come back. That's why I'm here. Maybe you'll get it if you see the other letter. The one, Mary. Huh? I must have dropped it. Laura. I gotta find it. Laura!
Are you taping again? Come on. <sighs> I don't know why, but I just love it here. It's so peaceful. You know what I heard? This whole area used to be a sacred place. I think I can see why. It's too bad we have to leave. Please promise you'll take me again, Jane.
you're the only one left. Maybe then... Maybe then I can rest. Mama, why are you running away? <gasps> you're not my mama. It's... it's you. Angela, no. Thank you for saving me. But I wish you hadn't. Even Mama said it. I deserved what happened. No, Angela, that's wrong. Pity me? I'm not worth it. Or maybe you think you can save me. Will you love me? Take care of me? Heal all my pain? That's what I thought. James. Give me back that knife. No. I... I won't. Saving it for yourself? Me? No, I'd never kill myself. It's hot as hell in here. You see it too. For me, it's always like this. weak. That's why I needed you. Needed someone to punish me for my sins. But that's all over now. 
I know the truth. Now it's time to end this. Mary? What do you want, James? I, uh, I brought you some flowers. Flowers? I don't want any damn flowers. Just go home already. Mary, what are you saying? Look, I'm disgusting. I don't deserve flowers. Between the disease and the drugs, I look like a monster. Well, what are you looking at? Get the hell out of here! Leave me alone already! No use to anyone. I'll be dead soon anyway. Maybe today. Maybe tomorrow. It'd be easier if they'd just kill me. But I guess the hospital's making a nice profit off me. They want to keep me alive. Are you still here? I told you to go! Are you deaf? Don't come back! James! Wait! Please don't go! Stay with me! Don't leave me alone! I didn't mean what I said! Please, James! Tell me I'll be okay! Tell me I'm not going to die! Help me!
Mary? When will you ever stop making that mistake? Mary is dead. You killed her. Maria? It's you. But I don't need you anymore. What? You must be joking. But I can be yours. I'll be here for you forever. And I'll never yell at you or make you feel bad. That's what you wanted. I'm different than Mary. How can you throw me away? I understand now. It's time to end this nightmare. No, I won't let you. You deserve to die too, James. Mary? <coughs> James. Forgive me. I told you that I wanted to die, James. I wanted the pain to end. That's why I did it, honey. I just couldn't watch you suffer. No. That's not true. You also said you didn't want to die. The truth is, I hated you. I wanted you out of the way. I wanted my life back. James, if that were true, then why do you look so sad? Mary? James. Please. Please do something for me. Go on with your life. In my restless dreams, I see that town. Silent Hill. You promised you'd take me there again someday, but you never did. Well, I'm alone there now, in our special place, waiting for you. waiting for you to come to see me. 
but you never do. And so I wait, wrapped in my cocoon of pain and loneliness. I know I've done a terrible thing to you. Something you'll never forgive me for. I wish I could change that. But I can't. I feel so pathetic and ugly laying here. Waiting for you. Every day I stare up at the cracks in the ceiling. And all I can think about is how unfair it all is. The doctor came today. He told me I could go home for a short stay. It's not that I'm getting better. It's just that this may be my last chance. I think you know what I mean. Even so, I'm glad to be coming home. I've missed you terribly. But I'm afraid, James. I'm afraid you don't really want me to come home. Whenever you come see me, I can tell how hard it is on you. I don't know if you hate me or pity me. Or maybe I just disgust you. I'm sorry about that. When I first learned that I was going to die, I just didn't want to accept it. I was so angry all the time, and I struck out at everyone I loved most. Especially you, James. That's why I understand if you do hate me. But I want you to know this, James. I'll always love you. Even though our life together had to end like this, I still wouldn't trade it for the world. We had some wonderful years together. <sighs> well, this letter has gone on too long, so I'll say goodbye. I told the nurse to give this to you after I'm gone. That means that as you read this, I'm already dead. I can't tell you to remember me. But I can't bear for you to forget me. These last few years since I became ill, I am so sorry for what I did to you, did to us. You've given me so much, and I haven't been able to return a single thing. That's why I want you to live for yourself now. Do what's best for you, James. James, you made me happy.